Hey, it's Walt K4 OGO. Today I'm in one of my favorite places on earth, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm in the town of Kill Devil Hills. About 200 meters that way is where the dune is that the Wright brothers made their first flight on. So it's a wonderful part of the country. It's just about an hour and a half north of where I live. Anyway, that's the Atlantic Ocean. Today I'm going to build a really cool antenna, a simple, cheap quarter wave for 20 meters vertical that uh, I'm gonna do it with speaker wire that I got real cheap at Walmart. So uh, let's go have some fun. Okay, here's what we have to work with today. I have my 17 foot telescopic pole, my uh, dump in the sand surf rod holder, four counterpoise wires cut to quarter wave at about 14.29, I believe, megahertz. I have a driven element, same length. A banana clip, that's how simple this is gonna be. Got the Zygu G90, my LifePo 4 battery, and that's it. That's what we're going to build this thing with today. I made this antenna pretty cheap, under 20 US dollars using just speaker wire, which is 16 gauge, and a banana clip, all to make a quarter wave ground plane. Okay, here's the design of the antenna. It's real simple. It's just a vertical with four ground wave of counterpoise wires as a ground wave. Each one of these are cut to about 16 feet 5 inches, which is somewhere in the middle of the uh, general section of the 20 meter band for US hams. Um, like I said, 16 feet 5 inches each. I know it's in Imperial, so if you're in the metric world and you're watching this, I'm sorry. I know it's convoluted, but hey, we Americans put a man on the moon using that system. So anyway, that's how simple it is. Nothing but speaker wire. Basically five wires the same size with four on the ground as the, as the ground plane and one vertical. Okay, here's the setup. We got it up. It's going to be my uh, shack for the morning. It's late morning. We're hoping that... Um, where the gray line's coming across Central Europe right now. Maybe I can make some contacts there. There's the Zygu G90 with the uh, coax headed out to my 17 foot telescopic pole. On the pole, I have speaker wire down to a banana clip. And then the counterpoise wires have three of them into the water and one of them up that little sand bank right there. This is going to be nice because I'm not going to get hit by a rogue wave. I think it's going to give me time to get out of the way, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's go play some radio. I arranged the counterpoise wires basically in 180 degrees, all pointed towards Europe. It took off with a couple good contacts, one to France and then another to Spain. I am portable on the beach in North Carolina, the outskirts of North Carolina with 20 watts. You are 5'7 here. Even 
though I had the counterpoise wires pointed towards Europe, also picked up a couple good uh, QSOs here in the States with Josh, W-O-W-D-X, and Justin, KC9, USW. Well, not bad for a Wednesday morning um, in the middle of November, but uh, hey, I had a good time out here on the beach. It's getting a little cold. I think I'm ready to get back in and uh, maybe head down to my favorite surf bar down the road here and have an adult beverage. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, please uh, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm going to do a lot more of these, hopefully in warmer spots, although I'm getting ready to make a little trip up uh, on the Great Lakes, so it's going to be cold up there as well. I can better get used to it. Anyway, this is Walt, K4OGO. Thanks for watching, 73.